Hi everyone! Hi Polymer Clayer! My name is Veronica. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this one is the part 2 for the whistle. Finally, I will show you how to you can use my whistle basic foam. So here it is, whistle. If you have this one, and this tutorial will be awesome. Or you can learn something new with uh, this uh, tutorial too hope so okay you need uh, like a liquid clay and the super glue i'm using nail glue it's fine and the tissue blade and little tools and this one exacto knife and clay and the paper towel this is good for the wipe your sticky fingers by the clay and then this one for the final i will make some keychain or some accessory holders and obviously you need a pasta machine okay so let's just start and this one is the base so you need liquid clay all over the whistle okay except the top for the rock, this raw clay, and then I made already the little sheet for the wrapping here. And then when you wrap this one, I will say the cut one side, this like the slope 45 degree about cut and flip over. And you can roll, wrap them all like a sushi roll, seaweed roll, like a Korean way, bimbap, you know, rice roll, spring roll, whatever you call it, like evenly roll up. And then when you see this section, you know, this area, when you touch the other side the clay, you can see there is the line slice right okay point it and on row and the cut at this time this one was like in right and then which means here we lined here and I will start here to touch the area by the degree okay like this Okay, like this area, that area. Okay, you see, you cannot see. And when you wrap this up, I'll ask you to this hole is the you can see the as uh, matching end to end, like this here, like this. This one goes first, okay? Slice, you can see the surface. And this one is the top. That helps like a more natural, smooth, connect each other like this, all right? And you can use your tools that way. Then cover it naturally, right? After that, you can roll gently, okay? What is that? here and then when you roll then you can see the little bit there this is the mouse piece area and there is the hole okay like this okay this spot you need curve okay you need curve with exacto knife not sharp area just dull area okay Okay, here is the drawing. So before you carve with the exacto knife, I will tell you one thing easy to find. There is the whistle air blow through the hair, from the hair to there. And then this one, if I draw top view, there is the hole, right? And there is the thickness and there's oh I must rotate like this this you can see the thickness like surface 
this is the hollow area all right so you need to cut uh, basically this uh, shape and that area too so which means i can rotate this uh, way and i will say like this okay so you can cut away this you know trimmed off that direction that area so remember that okay not this one is a straight across the top was you can curve or you can trim okay and the, that one is the, like it has a direction degree okay so this is the top when you wrap the rock clay trying to like a top is the flat okay you don't have to all the way like this bottom okay so this will be the straight line down okay and this area is a little bit leaned up okay so look at this here the top it's a straight down i trimmed off this one it's a followed follow just to follow like this you know digging you can feel it the inside one already cooked so no worries okay it's just like a scratch if you like then follow the direction okay then you can have this shape like this just keep follow the degrees okay and this top you can cut like this and this tissue plate hold it tightly and that one gently rotate okay just steady here and on the bottom so you can rotate and cut it off okay so this is still rough okay you don't have to worry about after bake you can send it all right and then this one this bottom i will cut just briefly i'm not gonna cut like this tightly okay Oops, my fingernail make the damage all right it's fine anyways cut like this okay i want to see more like this and then i will manage with my needle tool just cover it all right and then i'm making just a simple one okay simple you can decorate take everything you can, if you want to like a huge fine only you need is this area you must leave this area and you can decorate everything your choice and then i will do here more like a thicker i want to try it surface like a thicker because uh, the first video the tutorial this is the real tutorial first one is introduced and that there was like this one log shape and then there's a hole which means i want to attach like uh, here, not here no not this one sorry about that mm, i don't have any here anyway so like uh, i want to put the screw okay which means i need the extra clay you know thickness i don't want to throw the real like uh, whistle so that's why i'm attaching here extra clay okay the bottom because I want to screw in the bottom, not the top, because we need this area, right? So, up here. Okay. And then, I will trim this area. Alright. Okay, roll like this that helps okay okay i did like smooth surface and then i do usually the bottom signature here tiny this one i made in 2012 eight years ago wow again okay so you can sign up
and then also you, as you see that we are going to attach we need this one screw so I need a hole here All right. just like a mark as a mark okay I'm not gonna put it here later with the spool glue I will attach all right and then you can bake 10 minutes but additionally if you are not making this is fine this technique is good too so I'm going to here carve actually I'm writing what looks like I will say carve okay so I will say here what's your favorite word so I will do love so I'm doing like writing but digging or dragging okay I will say you can say write writing I am saying dragging drag clay like this okay drag deeply is important okay that's it so this is uh, like a kind of like rough area just ignore it okay just bake 10 minutes okay I'm back actually you know what this one I just showed you right this one I pre-made for you guys and then I will say this is the carving writing or drag like that but if we have a stamp yeah craft store there is the tiny letters as a stamp okay so you can use it time save or look nicer of course and the, this one like uh, I bake 10 minutes and I file like a uh, send it okay and under the water running water and then I used uh, like a sending paper 120 after that 400 grid okay make a soft smooth and then if you see the, the letter if you don't like like I mean not deep enough then you can exacto knife is a good tool you know as a carving so you can carve because this is only 10 minutes baking you know still you can, it's a fragile so you can carve easily okay but be careful if you want it to carve if you don't if you're not good at this use the like knives you know don't try okay anyway so from now Time to use the liquid clay. Uh, put it here everywhere. Means everywhere the letter area. Okay. So and then like this, trying to stick it into the letter, the liquid clay. Okay. Important. All right okay and need you need some color in this tutorial simple but this is a kind of i like it so i choose yellow and then i put a bit to bit here there on the alphabet all right okay and use this one and try to stick it in steady like this and keep rolling don't like push okay that will be take off like this so just to roll speedily okay like this they will stick together and then after that you just bake no problem but it will take some time to you can send it right so you save you want to save time sometime and they can like uh, this way and that way just get a little bit unnecessary clay okay but still you must use your finger and then managing make sure all the clay into the alphabet all right okay so time to bake 10 minutes okay I baked it only 10 minutes like this how do you like and then after that I have another sample already made for you guys look at this shiny compared to this 
this is the shiny, right? I have a tutorial on how to make uh, like your pieces like jewelry shiny like uh, coated, okay? So I have a buffing machine. If you have a buffing machine, it's so useful. Also, I said like keep saying like 10 minutes like that. If you have a heat gun, so useful, okay? So if you have a heat gun, for example, then you must hold it with some safety flyer. Don't burning, okay? And then gently hit it here on this area only. Then you can keep decorate, okay? Addition. You can add it more and more. Heat gun is so useful. Mine's so useless because I used a few times broken, okay? I bought the Michaels. I never buy it again. Still, I need good one though. Anyway, so time to you use glue, super glue. This one is the result almost. So here, super glue. Put some here the, on the tip, mini screw, and put here. Okay. And then if we want it to, like a keychain or accessory like this, and then here is the like off area and the connect. And then you can use it as a zipper, you know, accessory, you know, zip. So good too, okay? So that's it for now. So hopefully you learn more than whistles. Alright. Thank you for watching. Bye.